When a man wants to impress his beautiful new boss, he finds he has only one recourse, salsa dancing. In Cuban Fury, an engineer discovers that he and the woman of his dreams have only one thing in common, their love of salsa dancing. This is a solidly funny movie that plays to its strengths and hides very few weaknesses behind a comedic talent who really gets to shine. Back when he was a kid, Bruce was a salsa prodigy, winning competition after competition. A run-in with a gang one night causes him to ditch the dance to just have a normal life. As an adult, he's a successful engineer. He's a great, he's a sweet guy, but that spark of life just isn't there anymore. Along comes Julia and she wakes it up. He starts to feel something again. He finds out that she is big into salsa, so he tries to get back into that world, tries to hook up with his old mentor, because really he just wants to get her attention. But along the way, he's going to have to face off with the office annoying jerkwad, and he's going to have to unleash the dancer inside to win more than just her heart. Chris O'Dowd, Rashida Jones, and Ian McShane round out the cast of this film, and they deliver different levels of comedy. We get annoying jokes, we get sweet and tender moments, and we get some extreme anger. All of these people work together to make us laugh. I cared about the romantic angle in this film, and I have to tell you, this is just a good time. This movie is also about dancing, and they handled that part of it pretty well, just like they did the comedy. I don't know if Frost is a natural dancer, if he just trained really hard for this part, but he looked impressive. Now, they did surround him with a lot of skilled, beautiful people that just show off amazing agility and grace, so yeah, they probably made him look more impressive than he was, but still, it worked for me. That side of the film made me think about dancing, made me think about taking some classes if the teachers look anything like these dancers. Cuban Fury is a wonderful romantic comedy that may not have the most original idea at its core. You know, the down on his luck guy trying to impress the beautiful woman, but it's a different and original take on that. When you need a movie just to make you laugh, just to bring a smile to your face with no political undertones or severely gross out humor, that's the time you take this one for a spin and trust me, it's worth watching.